Assalamualaikum. Hello parents. I'm teacher Ida Murni Jamari from YMS EduTech Learning Hub. Inshallah, we help students to improve in math and science by two grades in less than three months. Alhamdulillah, as we are approaching the year and examination, let us revise together on primary five math and science strategies. In this video, I'm sharing with you on how to solve problems involving all items changed. In all items change, it involves changes to both quantities. The quantities at the beginning and the end are different, thus making it difficult to solve such word problems using the traditional model approach. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to solve this concept using a simplified version of the model. Let's take a look at an example. Let's read the question together. Joyce had one-fifth as many erasers as Ethan at first. Then, their mother gave Ethan 12 more erasers and Joyce 5 more erasers. The ratio of the number of Ethan's erasers to the number of Joyce's erasers became 4 is to 1. How many erasers did Ethan have at first? Let us first highlight the important keywords. So from the first statement, it says Joyce had one-fifth as many erasers as Ethan at first. So this one unit belongs to Joyce and the five units belong to Ethan. Then their mother gave Ethan 12 more erasers and Joyce five more erasers. The ratio of the number of Ethan's erasers to the number of Joyce's erasers became 4 is to 1. So the question wants to know how many erasers did Ethan have at first? Because this is a before change after type of question, first what we can do is to list down the items in a table form. So Joyce is to Ethan at first the ratio was 1 was to 5 and then there was a change involved whereby Joyce got 5 more erasers and Ethan got 12 more erasers and thereafter the ratio of Ethan's erasers to Joyce's erasers became 4 is to 1. In all items change type of question, what we need to do is to make the last unit to be equal. As such, we need to find the lowest common multiple of 1 and 4. And that is 4. Hence, we need to multiply Joyce's number of units and erases by 4. Okay, we are going to redraw this table over here so that it's clearer for us to see. So, Joyce is to Ethan before change after. So, we have to multiply Joyce's quantities by 4. So, at first, it was 4 units. And the change involved was 20 erasers. And in the end, it became 4 units. While Ethan's number of items remain unchanged. 5 units plus 12, 4 units. Okay. So now that we have the after units for both Joyce's and Ethan being the same, we can easily draw a simple model to illustrate the table. So Joyce is to Ethan. Okay, let's look at Joyce first. Four units plus 20 erasers make four units. Okay, so Joyce, four units plus 20 erasers while Ethan's 5 units plus 12 erasers 
5 units is slightly longer than 4 units. And notice that the length of both model are the same because of this, 4 units each. Okay, so this is the simplified uh, model for the new table. And now we can easily see that when we take 5 units minus 4 units, that is equivalent to the difference between 20 and 12. So, sorry. So, 5 units minus 4 units is 20 minus 12, which is 8. Okay, so 1 unit is 8 erasers. So, the question wants to know how many erasers did Ethan have at first. So, Ethan had... 5 units at first. 5 multiplied by 8. So the answer is 4t. Okay? There was no change involved to the number of items to Ethan's. So just ensure that we use back the original number of units for Ethan, which was 5 units. Okay? So I hope you find this recapping on how to solve all items change video useful. If you like it, share it so that more people can benefit from it. Our 2021 registration is now open. To register for a free trial lesson, simply go to ymsedutech.com or simply click on the link that I shared with the video. Inshallah, our classes will start in December 2020. Places are limited, so do register early. I'm teacher Ida Marie Jamari, once again from YMS EduTech Learning Hub. Hurry to success!